Hey guys, welcome to another day of the shop. Today, we're working on the 2008 GMC. So, I've got to get the airbag, or not the airbags, the airbag uh, module and the two front seat belts that locked. I've got to take them out so I can ship them off and have them rebuilt and the module reset. So, that's what we're going to be doing. So, stay tuned. Uh. Alright, coming around here, I've already opened this up. As you see, I showed you in the other videos, this is my seat belt. So, I've got to take this whole thing out, which I've got to figure out how to do, because I've never done this on this truck. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to set y'all down, put my tripod down real quick. Oh, oops, wrong one. Alright. And... We're gonna discover this together. So we'll first, have our trim tool. Here, come a little bit closer. And uh, we first have our trim tool. Oh, I'm gonna break that open. All right. Now we've got a nice big, almost looks like uh, I don't know, a T40 or something like that right there. I don't know if y'all can actually see that. Uh. Looks like that's the only one holding this end down here. So, that's what we got down here. And then, this, let's see if this will move back for me. It is back. Let's see if it will move forward for me. The battery's not liking me. So, I'm going to have to put a charge back on it and get back here because I think this is where the compartment is for the other parts of the seatbelt. So, let me get to that. All right, so we got this move forward. I'm going to see if I can get my little trim tool in here. Pop all that out. There we go. Looks like uh, a little bit smaller uh, size for this Torx bit. If you can see that. So we got this Torx bit and this Torx bit, and they look, it might be the same. But we got that, and then we got up here, if you can see that. Oop. Up here, we got to take off as well, which looks like it might be interior. But we've got to take all that out and on this side and the passenger side. So I'm only going to take off the driver's side. So you don't have to endure the pain of watching me screw up and take the passenger side off. That should be identical. And then uh, the airbag module. Uh, everything I read, reads it's up under here in the console. So I've got to take the console out. So. Y'all get to watch me do that. So, let me go get my Torx bits and uh, we'll pop these out real quick. Alright, so it's a Torx 50 to get in here. So I'm just going to hand loosen it with this. And then we'll hit it with the impact, or the, whatever you want to call it, the DAC DAC. So, loosen that up a little bit. Pop this on here. We'll loosen this one. And then this one. You can see up here, there's just a little round section up here. I'll just pop this off. Alright. So since we got all that off, or at least loose, we'll throw this up here. This is off, that other section's off, let me swap over and I'm going to take this off. There we go. And this is off. So, we got all these off and this is one big old package that has to be sent off to be repaired. That's one. So, we got one more. I got one more and the module and uh, once we do that uh, the seat belts will hopefully be back in a few days slash about a week my battery keeps dying and I'll get to clean up the carpet and everything in here and then on the next one 
which I'm not going to be done right now, uh, I've got to paint. But, anyways, back to getting this module out. Alright, so, here's both seat belts. Got them out. Alright, I kept saying that the airbag module was in the center console or under the center console. It's not. I had to do some more research. It's right here. So, I'm going to have to move this seat back as far as I can get it. Maybe I can get it without pulling the seat out, but it doesn't look like it. Probably going to pull the seat out. So, with the seat coming out, we've got a uh, little cover right here with a bolt. A little cover right here with a bolt. A bolt over here. And a bolt back there. So, that's what I'm going to do now. So, stay tuned. Boom. Definitely. All right, well, in the midst of me finding out all this and learning about this GMC, uh, the bolts in here, that is called an E14. Uh, it's a little random weird bit. Uh, I got these at a salvage place uh, for tools and stuff. And got it really cheap so when I saw it there I was like that's cool let's buy those because they're really cheap so with that these back ones I think it's just the back ones yeah it looks like just the back ones are uh, E14 and the front ones are an E18 but this one's 3 8 this one's half inch so I gotta work around the stuff around here to get this seat out so once I take these bolts out, I should be able to rock the seat back just a little bit and get to that module. Uh, so right now I'm going to take this seat and knock it out. So, oop, wrong way. All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, it didn't want to work for me. Oh no. Seat's been finicky. There we go. Raising up. As long as it raises up, I gotta see what's wrong with the switch panel. So, you can kind of see down here, right up under there. Okay, let's lower y'all down a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. All right, right there, looks good. Right here, these yellow plugs, that is uh, to do with the airbags. These are 10 millimeter uh, nuts, there's three of them. Uh, you could almost have done this with the seat in, but it's a lot easier to do this. Before messing with any airbag components, technically anything with a yellow tag, you need to remove the ground off the battery so that it doesn't trigger anything when you're removing this. Because it can, and if you have airbags that haven't exploded yet, they could explode. And then it's more costly to you to fix because now you've got to get more airbags. So, uh, I'm going to undo the battery and take this out. So. So, got it out. Not too bad. Uh, all these components are going to be sent off uh, to a company that I'm using to rebuild both of the uh, seat belts, the tensors, with the uh, whatever you want to call it, explosion devices. Uh, and then the computer actually needs to be reset. And the only way to reset it is with manufacturer hardware or software on a computer. And that's what they have. And they do this service and they certify it. So, I will be doing that. 
and then as the seat is up and stuff is kind of moved out of the way you see how dirty and nasty everything is well I'm gonna be removing some stuff and cleaning so as that sent off as the hood and the uh, let's look at the hood real quick as the hood and the fender because I got to replace this I found out so with that uh, I got to put a rib nut in here because it broke. Uh, this was shipped this way. So I've got to do a little bit of body work and fix this now that it's on there. Uh, but oops, somebody's burning some stuff and getting ash all in my face. If you look, we set this down, let it lock. The body line right here is almost 100% straight. The body line over here is not. This whole fender is pushed out probably because of how I was pulling on it and pushing on it and everything else. So I've got a new fender, uh, just like the hood. It's black right now. So it's gonna go on and we're going to prep it and prep this, fix that over there. There's a small little dent in the fender, the new fender I have. It's uh, almost like a, I don't know, the paint that they had in it or the uh, primer or whatever, whatever that is, the coating. Uh, and once we do that, after we get all that painted, we're gonna blend it into the door and the fender over there. Get the hood on, get the fender on, and then we get to put the grill and the headlights back on. And my bumper, hopefully, is gonna be here tomorrow. So that'll be fun and entertaining to watch me try and weld that and clean it up and make it pretty. So. Let's get uh, the stuff and uh, get a box. I've got one, I might I might have just burned all my boxes. I don't know. So, we'll grab all this. If I can. Uh, one handed. All right, we'll just throw it over my shoulder. So, it's like it's snowing here. Snowing ash. Uh, uh, I do not have a, oh, yes I do, I might, maybe, it might fit in there. It might fit in this box right there, I doubt it, but, oh, probably not. If it does, it does, if it doesn't, find another box. Uh, but it's a hot, or it's a fast turnover for them to repair those seat belts. They, uh, they do it for a lot of different companies and everything. They, uh, you send it to them, they replace everything that's broken or that has been, uh, activated through the SRS system or the airbag system and then they can reprogram or reset the uh, computer so all you do is reinstall it just like you uh, uninstalled it and when you do that everything is like factory and they turn it over normally uh, within a day something like that so uh, like I said here's my black fender We'll get out of the box soon. But I want to thank you for joining in for another episode of the shop. Uh, any questions, drop a comment below. Uh, check out Teespring. And uh, get you some merch. Help out my airbag uh, reset stuff. So I can get this truck on the road and see how it does. Because i got a few more things i got to do to it. Uh, that's my main thing. i still got to get some... Uh, radiator fans and a radiator top shroud but uh got another giveaway coming up uh it's not going to be like the last giveaway because apparently we had some issues with that so uh stay tuned for all that check out my giveaway section check out teespring check out other videos and i appreciate y'all stopping by until next time